Hi everyone, a couple of weeks ago I went to my cousin's wedding and I wanted to share my makeup, hair and outfit with you all. I've had a shower and washed my hair and I'm first going to use some of my Percy and Reed Wonder Balm and brush it through with my Tangle Teaser. The Wonder Balm makes my hair look soft and shiny whilst helping it when it comes to styling. I always use a heat protectant on my hair and this is the one by Tresemme. Once my hair is dry I move on to skincare and I'm using my Benefit Puff Off Eye Cream and my moisturiser by The Body Shop which is the Vitamin C moisturiser which is like a cool gel texture and I really really like it. I like to leave as long as possible between my skincare and then apply makeup so I'm going to curl my hair next. I want really tight curls so I'm taking the Nikki Clark Mayfair wand. This comes with three different barrels so you can create so many looks but today I'm using the thinnest one. I'm just sectioning my hair off and then wrapping small sections around the wand. Now it's time for makeup. I want my makeup to last all day so I'm using the Step 1 Primer by Makeup Forever. This creates such a lovely base for foundation. For foundation I'm mixing two of my favourites to create my perfect shade. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation and also the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm using a beauty blender to apply as I find sponges the best for a quick flawless finish. I'm using the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia to fill in my brows as it lasts all day. But I'm going to speed this up because otherwise we will be here all day. But I'm going to do a separate video just focusing on my eyebrows at some point. For concealer I'm using the Clarins Instant Light under my eyes for a highlighted effect. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm taking cream eyeshadow all over my eyelids and blending out the edges. This will help the eyeshadow that I'm about to apply last much longer. Then I'm going to take Max Twinx eyeshadow and apply that to the outer of my eyelid to intensify the colour of the cream eyeshadow and blending often with a clean fluffy brush to make it look seamless. Then I'm taking Max Shadowy Lady eyeshadow on a Mac 217 and using it to define my crease for added effect I'm taking all three products underneath my eyes too.
I'm using my short Tilbury eye call in Elizabeth Violet to line my waterline before curling my eyelashes. I'm going to apply a couple of coats of mascara using my current favourite by Covergirl which is the Super Sizer. To add some shape and warmth I'm taking my NARS Laguna Bronzer on a Real Techniques blusher brush. I'm just taking that where I feel like I need it on different parts of my face. And then for some colour I'm using my Milani blusher in tea rose on the apples of my cheeks. I want a tiny bit of glow so I'm using my Mary Luminizer highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. The lashes I'm using today are from Fleur de Force's new range and they are amazing. This was the second time I'd used this pair and they're really easy to apply and look so full. I got so many compliments on my eyelashes at the wedding. I've done a full blog post on the collection which I will link below if any of you are interested in going and having a read. For lips I'm using the Rimmel Lip Liner in East End Snob. Over the top I'm going to take my MAC lipstick in Cream Cup, which is the first one that I ever bought. To minimise shine and set my makeup, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder all over my face. To help everything stay in place for longer, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is my favourite. Back to hair, I'm using the Collab Dry Shampoo to add volume to the roots of my hair. For an extra something something, I'm using the Give Me Texture Spray by VO5 and then I'm setting that all in place with their Volumizing Hairspray. For my outfit, I'm wearing a floral dress and a white blazer from Miss Selfridge. I'm pairing those with a nude pair of heels from Miss Selfridge and my accessorised clutch. I've painted my nails and toenails using Maybelline's Tan Lines Nail Polish. Now I'm ready to go. I'll link everything that I've mentioned in the description box below as always. Please like and subscribe if you did like. It means the world. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Music